Found in all cells throughout the body, proteasomes are large protein complexes that mediate degradation of most intracellular proteins. Proteasomes also play critical roles in a variety of important cellular processes, including antigen presentation, cytokine production, differentiation, and proliferation. Proteasomes come in two different forms, the constitutive proteasome and the immunoproteasome. In the constitutive proteasome, protein degradation is mediated by the beta-1, beta-2, and beta-5 active site subunits, while the immunoproteasome contains LMP2, MECL1, and LMP7 as its active site subunits. These three subunits are the primary physical difference between the two forms. Constitutive proteasomes are the main form of proteasome expressed by the majority of cells in the body, while immunoproteasomes are narrowly expressed in cells of the immune system. Additionally, at sites of inflammation, non-immune cells can be stimulated to express immunoproteasome subunits following exposure to inflammatory cytokines, which can lead to replacement of constitutive proteasomes with immunoproteasomes. In immune cells, such as T cells and B cells, macrophages, and dendritic cells, the immunoproteasome controls key cellular functions, such as cell migration, antigen presentation, cytokine expression, and effector function. The cytotoxicity of the myeloma drugs Velcade, Kyperlis, and Ninlaro is driven by comparable potency against both the beta-5 subunit of the constitutive proteasome and its substitute LMP7 subunit of the immunoproteasome. These compounds are referred to as non-selective proteasome inhibitors. KZR616 is a first-in-class selective inhibitor of the immunoproteasome, with primary potency against LMP7 and LMP2. When used off-label, non-selective inhibitors have shown activity in a number of autoimmune diseases, However, tolerability issues limit their broad use. By targeting the immunoproteasome, KZR616 has been shown to inhibit the known major drivers of inflammation simultaneously. This mode of action is different than current targeted agents in inflammation, which target one cytokine or one cell type at a time. Immunoproteasome inhibition has been shown to cause a decrease in inflammatory T cell activity and an increase in regulatory T cell function. This may help to rebalance the immune system and induce a deeper anti-inflammatory response relative to current standards of care. KZR616 also targets immunoproteasomes within B cells, which leads to a reduction in autoantibody levels. Immunoproteasome inhibition has been shown to be well-tolerated and active in preclinical models of rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, inflammatory bowel disease, and multiple sclerosis. An early clinical trial showed that KZR616 was well-tolerated and had a positive safety profile, avoiding systemic and hematologic toxicities common to non-selective proteasome inhibitors. In preclinical models, immunoproteasome inhibitors stop the harmful activity of T cells involved in autoimmune disease without interfering in normal immune surveillance. In contrast, common immunosuppressant drugs, such as corticosteroids, weaken the immune system. The first-in-class immunoproteasome inhibitor, KZR616, is being evaluated in clinical trials as a treatment for severe autoimmune diseases. Building on more than a decade of study and research, KZR616 could represent a powerful new therapeutic option to address the unmet needs of patients.